I'm speaking with Bill Altman. He and his wife, Joanna Angle, live outside of Chester, and they live in an 1850s house. Bill, those houses were built for people to run around and open windows and close them and build fires. Not particularly easy in these days and times. You wanted to do something and you wanted to be comfortable. So how did you solve those <laughs> dilemmas? Well, the first thing we did is we put air conditioning in the house, central air. We noticed our bills were fairly high, so we decided we'd try to find a way that we would have, we'd not have to pay as much in electric bills. So we decided to go with solar power. Uh, this unit behind us is 16,640 watts capacity. It produces all the power that we need. Now, if we're, say, nighttime is not producing, then we draw power off the grid from Duke. But during the daytime, if we're producing more than we're using, power goes on the grid. And so they do something called net metering. And over the course of the past year, we've put about 2,000 kilowatt hours more on the grid than we've taken off the grid. So you can keep your thermostat where you want it. That's right, we keep it about 70 or 71 or 72. Yeah. You are dedicated to stewardship yeah. at this farm, you and Joanna yeah. both, yes. and land trust or organizations that you support, did they yeah. were they helpful yeah. to you in trying to figure out how to find a company? Yes, they were. Um, I had been interested in solar power for a long time, but it's expensive and it's sort of daunting to think about spending that much money and then also find a company that you felt like you can trust. So fortunately, this, there's a land trust in the upstate called Upstate Forever that had done vetting of different companies. And so I went to a seminar that they offered and they recommended three companies. So we called all three companies and we had them come and we picked the company that we liked the most. And of course you need to put these in an area where there's full sun, yes. and since y'all are always thinking about wildlife and enhancing wildlife, um, how did you decide to manage the area around your solar panel? Well, <clears throat> what we've got planted around the solar panel are native warm season grasses, which are very helpful for wildlife. And uh, in fact, the, uh, the deer, uh, the does sometimes leave their babies in the native warm season grasses just like a nursery. Isn't that but, sweet? Yeah. And then, of course, we know all kinds of insects and pollinators come and use mm. the seed heads. Um, the birds feed on the seed heads. Yes, particularly the uh, American goldfinches. How many birds have y'all had um, documented on this wonderful property? We have identified 77 different species of birds on this property. I know that it thrills y'all. Yes, it does. And so if it's a hot day, you can just look at pictures of them in the That's almanac right. or in their Peterson's Guide That's and um, right. <laughs> in the <laughs> comfort of your air-conditioned house. That's right. Thank Absolutely. you so much for telling us about your solar panel okay. today. Thank you so much for coming.